How to potty train your puppy. How to use good boy potty training pad. Hello, everyone. House training is a simple process, but one that must be carried out positively without punishment that scares the puppy. Also, it is extremely important to stick to the rules consistently. Okay, now let's see how to potty train a puppy. First of all, you need to have a proper setup a confinement area, a crate, a puppy bed, food, water, toys, and of course, the good boy potty training pad. A confinement area is a place where your puppy can do no wrong. It's recommended to start by covering the entire surface with the pads. This way, you're setting your puppy up for a 100% success, and they cannot make a mistake. The whole potty training process normally takes about a few weeks. As time goes on, Give it about a week and you can start removing a little bit of the pad or substrate slowly. By doing this, you can ensure that your pet is actually targeting the pad. Eventually, your goal might be to have more floor and only one pad. But take your time. And if your puppy ever makes a mistake, just put down a little more toilet surface for your puppy. The next thing you absolutely have to remember is if your puppy is not in their crate or confinement area and they are out about with you, you must supervise them 100% of the time. The best time is when they are running out about, getting some exercise and fun right after they go to the bathroom. If you feel that your puppy might want to go to the bathroom, you should bring them to the good boy potty training pad in the confinement area. Make sure you have your puppy at the right place and right time so that when they do go to the bathroom at the right spot, you're prepared to tell them how good they are and back that up with a really great treat so they know that's what you want. Caution. One. The length of time to fully potty train varies significantly depending on things like age, consistency, and how established indoor accidents may already be. Please be patient with your dog and don't rush it or yell at them. 2. If your puppy is really young, the puppy might pee by accident when it is too happy or excited when exercising or having fun with you. Please don't punish them, as we wouldn't blame an infant for going in their diaper, for example. Three, when the puppy starts pawing the ground, sniffing around, or turning in a circle, please act quickly to take the puppy to the good boy potty training pad. Four, Please remember to change to a bigger size of good boy potty training pad as the puppy grows up. Otherwise, the puppy might have a hard time targeting the small pad and they might refuse to eliminate on good boy potty training pad because they don't wish to mess up their feet. 5. Please wash the good boy potty training pad every 2-4 to four days. If you just started potty training your puppy, please wash the pad with clean water in order to leave a light smell and help the puppy to remember the right toilet spot. 6. Please remember to choose a suitable size of the good boy potty training pad for your dog. If the pad is too small for your dog, it might not be able to absorb such great amounts of urine. 7. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us by emailing help at goodboypet.com. 
we'd be very happy to answer your query or guide you to the appropriate source of information. Thanks for watching our training video. Good Boy Pet House wishes you a happy journey with your beloved furry member. I'll see you next time. Bye!